and now for Sasaha. Well, it's least I'm going back to Dozel, sir. Your father being Lord Lex, of course. The people of Dozel must be eagerly waiting your return. Yes, sir. Langbart and Denon had wounded the name of the pride of the house Dozel and gave the people so much, har so many hardships. It's all I can do in the place of my father to get things back to where it was. Mm. You have my hopes also. From now on, please lend me your strength as well. Yes, sir! It's Kasaha. What are we waiting for? Shouldn't we be going soon? Lana? What do you mean by that? I'm coming right along. I'm worried about you. I see. Thanks, Lana. Please... Going home... <sighs> Something like that. Please take care of Dozel, Prince Yohava. Going home will be a tough affair, but there's the matter of atoning for good old pops. Well, that's that, and I have you to thank for it. You're a strange man, Prince Yohava. Your words don't do justice to your kindness. Heh, <laughs> can't be helped. That's the only th that's the only one that's me, you know. Well, at least do your best. I'll be going now. Later. That Yohava is just embarrassed, Sir Celise. He feels awkward about the whole situation, that's all. <laughs> I understand. You take care of yourself too, Locke, and take care of Yohava. Yes, sir. I'll watch over him. I can't take my eyes off of him for a second for how he is, after all. I'll be going then, sir. Please take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, you guys. Here comes Seti Kaiba. Seti, you going back to Edda? Yes, my lord. To fulfill my father's Claude's dying wishes, I'm going to bring Edda back to life. There is great strength in the faith of Edda. No matter what, please bless us with your holy prayers for Grandma and the world. Yes, my lord. Take care of yourself, Sandy Kaiba. And now for the manly stash. Well then, Lord Selyse, I'll be making to world trophy. Uh, why, Oife? I still need you. I thought you'd always stay beside me. No, not manly stash. No, my lord. It's time that you find your own road and walk it with pride. And so, I'll be taking Duke de Matalfi in your stead. Matalfi, I... I understand. Your words are right as always, Oifei. Since I'm not inheriting the family home, there's no one else with Matalfi's bloodline but you. I can't just leave it like that, no matter how much it hurts. Please be at ease, my lord. I'll sh I shall be protecting you from my place at Matalfi myself. Oifei, for me, who'd never known my own father, you're the closest thing to what uh, I've got. You taught me everything I know about tactics, chivalry, honor, and kindness. I can't find words enough to say how much I thank you. Lord Selyse, I too am in great debt to your father. Lord Sigurd took me in when I was left alone, orphan. He even took care of me like his own brother. And even then, I wasn't there with him until the last, to see with my own eyes. I'm such a fool. Oife, don't cry. It's because of me. It's all because of me. Yes, sir. Please excuse me for my behavior. Well then, Lord Selyse, please. Mm, you take care of yourself, too, Oife. Bye, manly stash! Which leaves Arthur and Fee. Well then, Lord Selyse, all going back to Selyse with Father. Thank you for everything. That's great! To be going home with a father like Levin, Arthur. Yes, sir. I'm very proud of him. I wish I could be just like him soon. Lord Selyse, I'll be going to Selyse with Arthur. You too, Fee? I see. Please join, please join your strengths together to help the people of Selysia. Yes, I'll try my best, sir. Fee, take good care of Arthur. I won't be returning to Selysia. The task of ruling that country now goes to you two. Uh, why, Father? The war's over. Please come on with us. No, my duty's done. As with all the other countries, it's time for Selysia to make a fresh start all over again. It needs the vigor of the young that you have. I don't understand. Selysia needs you. Please, whatever, however, please come home. Being emotional, Arthur. I'd like it if you were afraid from embarrassing me any further. You should already know what I mean. Is that right, Arthur? 
Father. He said something about Celestia. I couldn't find it. Well, Celeste, I need to say goodbye, but it's time for me to go on my own journey, too. Levin, thank you. You've always watched over us young people. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I only did the duty that was expected out of me. I am the wind. A wind whose breath is meant to guide the warm rains of light. And that light is there in the heart of each and every one of you. Yes, I understand now. I've always ha heard the dragon kind fears involvement in the world of man. But you're different. You broke that rule. You guided us. I... Everyone, everything the surf will never forget that we owe you. Levin, no. The warrior of distant land. Whole city of the wind. And that is everyone saying goodbye.